Hello, everybody. It's me, Jacob. Just me. Only me today. You don't get anybody else. And today we're going to be looking at Celeste for just a little while. Not a full playthrough, because uh, I wouldn't do that unless I was doing it with somebody else, probably. But I do want to look at it for just a little bit, because uh, it's a neat little game that came out a while ago that you might not have tried. You should have tried it, because it's a fun game, but maybe you haven't. I'm going to convince you to try it by showing you the first couple of levels. Now, I've already beaten the uh, the main kind of campaign of the game. I haven't quite delved into all the bonus content yet because I've been uh, I've been way too busy. I've only I only just barely managed to do what you see up there. I barely managed to give it the eight hours that I have given it. Um, we're going to be taking a little bit of time just to take a look at the uh, the main camp. Uh, like I said, the main campaign, new game right here. We're not going to look at any bonus stuff. We're just going to look at kind of the first couple levels of the game. So if you aren't familiar with this, you saw a second ago. It's made by a, uh, a little game development studio called Matt Makes Games. I think I I don't I don't remember. They haven't made much. They made uh, Towerfall a couple of years ago, a little multiplayer pixel-based game that you might have played. That's pretty neat. Uh, I haven't played it, but I've watched quite. I, that's not true. I played it once uh, with a friend, but I don't own it. I should say. Anyway, pretty small team that worked on this game, uh, but it's not necessarily a small game. As you saw, I beat the main campaign in about eight hours, but there is a lot more content in this game, and I imagine that for a lot of people, uh, just beating the main campaign might take a little bit longer than it did for me, and there's also, even within the main campaign, there's a ton of exploring to be done. You see um, uh, where there's uh, cassette tapes and hearts, and those dots, those are all associated with an individual level. Uh, secrets and collectibles to be found, and I've only found some of them. There's still a whole lot more to be found in this game. But yeah, so we'll see a little bit more of this as we actually get in here. I don't need to explain a whole lot. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is it, Madeline. Just breathe. Why are you so nervous? As you can already see, this game is mostly all pixel art, except for that main menu, which is 3D. But the game is downright gorgeous. I don't, um, I, there's a lot of people who get turned off by these kinds of visuals, think they look cheap. Uh, I, th I see gorgeous and handmade. Alrighty, so as you can already see, this is a little bit of a platforming game, if you weren't already familiar with that. Nothing too, nothing too complicated or serious. You can climb some walls. You can grab onto pretty much any surface in the game and climb up it, as long as it isn't covered in spikes or whatever else. Excuse me, ma'am. The sign out front is busted. Is this the mountain trail? You're almost there, just across the bridge. By the way, you should call someone about your driveway. The ridge collapsed and I nearly died. I love her laugh. <laughs> If my driveway almost did you in, the mountain might be a bit much for you. <laughs> Ooh, hey, ha, oh, he. Well, if an old bat like you can survive out here, I think I'll be fine. Suit yourself. But you should know, Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might see things, things you ain't ready to see. You should seek help, lady. I can't talk to her anymore. Oh well. Who needs her? Laugh it up, lady. I'll be fine. Until that happens. You can do this. <laughs> Alrighty, and with that, we're introduced to the game's main mechanic, other than jumping and climbing. Uh, the thing that arguably kind of makes the entire thing, this mid-air dash. It has a set distance, and you can only use it once, once you're actually in the air. A 
as you can see, when after you use this dash in the air, Madeline's hair turns blue and it won't turn red until she hits the ground again. If it turns blue, that means that your dash is expended. You can only dash once until you touch solid ground. And just so you know, grabbing onto the side of a wall doesn't count. You have to plant your feet solidly onto the ground. And with that, you've basically got almost all of the straightforward gameplay mechanics that this game has. Now, each stage has at least one gimmick mechanic, kind of stage hazards that let you um, interact with the environment in a slightly different way. But this is, this is basically the game. These are the core mechanics that you have to deal with for the entire rest of the game. What are these delicious strawberries? So these strawberries were kind of like uh, um, the medallions in uh, Rayman Origins and a couple of other games where you can pick them up, but you have to actually get to a safe stable position before you are allowed to fully kind of acquire them. See, as you saw there, even though I picked it up, I didn't actually have possession of it until I was standing on solid ground. The conditions for most of the strawberries are just stand solidly on the ground and then you're good to go. But with a couple of them, they require a little bit more to, um, uh, to be acquired, so to speak. The thing about them is that, uh, they are, um... They don't actually do much. Uh, one of the one of the little in-game tutorials in a little bit is going to tell us that they only exist to impress your friends. I'll talk a bit more about that in a second. Anything over here? Any secrets to be found? Nope. Uh-oh. I'm going to die. So as you saw there, when you're hanging on the walls, your um uh, you, your whole body starts to kind of flash as you're running out of stamina essentially. Uh, there's no in-game meter to indicate the stamina. I believe that it's not actually set. I think that it actually transforms depending upon uh, kind of your um kind of where you are in the game. I'm pretty sure that it's dynamic to be suited to each challenge in the game. Though I don't know that. I haven't looked into it. So these strawberries with wings uh, will run away if you dash. If I had dashed, it would have uh, flown off the screen. So you have to be able to reach them without dashing. Or at, the, or at the very least, dash at the last possible moment. Some glowing over here. So yeah, uh, this game, I was over there looking around a second ago on that other area that kind of didn't let me go. So you see how my stamina ran out a lot sooner right there than it did when I was climbing around to that other space? I'm pretty sure that it is dynamic based upon where you are in the game, which I imagine would have taken a lot of time to program in. So that was just a clear, open, like, space that was glowing to let us know that it was there. But much like uh, Shovel Knight, if you played that game, uh, I played it on the channel if you haven't watched it with my friend Aiden. Uh, there's lots of secret walls that you can kind of bust open with uh, Madeline's dash move here. Some of them are pretty obvious. Uh, they'll like kind of have a clear in-game indicator, uh, but other ones you just kind of have to kind of get a sense of where they might be hidden. Uh, you'll spend up, you'll wind up spending a lot of time in this game if you're looking for everything, just ramming your head against walls, thinking that there might be a secret there. Oh, speaking of secrets, who is this mysterious man? Ho oh, there, fellow traveler. Oh, hi. What a killer night for a hike. I guess so. This place is so crazy. I kinda can't believe it exists. Not the easiest climb, is it? And I guess that's what I was looking for. Whoa, that sounds pretty serious. I'm just happy to see another human in such a lonely place. I'm Theo, by the way, an adventurer from a far-off land. Not much of a talker, are you? Mysterious lone wolf type. I get it. I'll just imagine some dark backstory for you. So you can just leave, or you can never even meet this guy, at least at this part of the game. But I highly recommend exhausting all dialogue options with Theo whenever you bump into him. Hey, sorry. I'm Madeline. I've got a lot on my mind. Well, Madeline, I'd say you've come to the right place. I'm freezing my toes off, but I can't imagine a better place for some quiet self-reflection. Yeah, maybe you're right. What far-off land do you hail from? Well, my inquisitive compatriot, I doth hail from the mystical, exotic kingdom of Seattle. It sounds like a special place. This place is wild. Why would an entire city be abandoned? I read that some mega corporations started building it, but then no one wanted to live here, just like all those cities in uh, in China. I wonder why. My money's on a government cover-up. What a waste to build all this for no real reason. At least we got to enjoy the leftovers. Are you here to explore this city? Yeah, I have this thing for abandoned places. I don't like to think of myself as a budding photographer. Oh really? Cool. Do you have a blog or something? 
A blog? Matline. Everyone uses Instapix now. I'm Theo under stars. Look me up. This terrain is pretty tricky. Are you turning back soon? Nope, I'm heading for the summit. I can really see the determination in your eyes. It's inspiring. If you say so. I bet you can make it to the summit too. Maybe. I don't really care about reaching the top, to be honest. Oh, but I heard there's some legit old ruins up beyond the city. Like, 1800s legit. I know it's risky to have to... Uh, I know it's risky, but I have to see them for myself. What's that thing you say right before you do something irresponsible? Uh, throw caution to the wind? No, that's not it. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not even gonna voice that because the... The pixelated bit crunch stuff did it just fine for me. Well, nice to meet you, Theo. I'm sure I'll be seeing more of you later. We will be seeing more of him later. What's up here? Aha, more level. Oh no. I've been punked. Very tricky. Oh no. I've been punked again. So this game has already gotten a little bit of a reputation for being pretty difficult. These first levels are not so hard, but uh, this whole thing gets quite challenging later on. Uh, we won't be getting too far into the game, so we've been, we're playing just the first couple of levels, which I did just fine on on my first try, so I'm sure that I'll be doing even better on my second try. No, that's not me bragging, I'm just saying that you probably won't see anything too ridiculous in what we're looking at today. But the thing you'll notice that's nice is that whenever you die, your restarts are pretty much instantaneous, and there is an example of a more obvious secret. Your restarts are pretty much instantaneous whenever you do die. You load back in on whatever screen you're currently on, uh, and you're really only, your downtime only lasts for like a couple of frames. It's pretty fantastic. So uh, the game really encourages trial and error, repeating, making sure that you can uh, do even better next time. Oh no. If I hadn't moved over there, I would have been crushed to death. That would have been bad. So as you can see, I already know where some of these secrets are just from kind of having explored the level previously. Oof, okay, there we go. Aha! So you'll notice, you notice that my stamina, like, when I was jumping between those walls, it wasn't replenishing or anything, so, uh, yeah, it, it's definitely dynamic depending on your current position in the game. Oh, hold on a second, that looks suspicious. Nope, never mind. Those extra blocks made me think maybe there's something hidden there. Check it out. Another one. There's something mysterious going on here. So this is actually a secret. This is a little puzzle that you can solve, which I don't think I've actually done on my main file. Um, white, blue, orange, pink, yellow. That's a lot to remember. White. Man, it goes too fast. I can't keep up with this. White, purple, blue, orange, is that purple or white again? Oh well. I'll leave that for you to solve some other time. I can't do everything for you, you know. Yes, yeah, so this game is already amassing a little bit of a reputation for being pretty difficult. Oh no. I almost survived that. Not quite, though. There's a lot you can do with just these, um, with just these basic movement mechanics. Oh, there's another obvious one. Very obvious Shovel Knight cracks in the wall. Oh no! Oh, god, why did I do that? I'm getting cocky. I have to hang out here for just a moment. There we go. Aha! What's that up there? Oh, I see. More secrets. Just what I was looking for. Oh, no. Made it. You're gonna have to wind up bridging a lot of, like, really narrow gaps like that with perfect timing. It's a lot of fun. For me, anyway. This kind of game can be stressful for a lot of people. But I honestly don't think it's that difficult. 
it is, let me put it this way, it is very difficult to do everything, because these strawberries, which I, which I didn't fully explain previously, basically they just exist to create more content. You don't need them for anything in the game. You don't need them to progress through the entire game. They're just there to provide you with more challenge, because at the end of the day, this is a, oops, I jumped at the wrong time, and all that momentum carried me upward into those spikes. Oh no, I also should not have... Oof! Okay, just barely made that. The strawberries are basically just there for all these bonus objectives, because at the end of the day, this is a game about fun but difficult platforming. And the strawberries are just there to create more additional fun platforming challenges. As I mentioned previously, there are some secrets in each level that are of a bit more merit. The hearts and the, um, uh, the cassette tapes. Oh no, which I'll talk about some more some other time, but like, as you can see, this strawberry, I don't need to get it all. I'm just gonna get it because I want to get it, and I jumped at the wrong time. That was not good. So you saw how even though I was standing on that platform there, I didn't actually acquire the strawberry until I got up here. It didn't consider that to be safe, solid land, where I'd proved my merit. Oh no. Let's try this again. Ah. Uh, I kind of just lost that one. Yeah, let's try this again. I know I can get this one. I got it before. I'll do. I'll get it again. Ah, crap. Ah. Okay, hold on. I know I can do this one. It's been a. It's been a minute, so I don't remember exactly how it's done. There we go. That's how you do it. Aha. So again, absolutely no real reason to do that. You don't get anything for it except for just impressing your friends and more fun. It's the kind of thing where people will ask, like, what's the point? This seems really pointless, but to me, it's like, the game is already about doing platforming, so it's like, well, what's the point of playing the whole game, really? It's just more challenges that are extra challenging, it's like, well, if you're not ready for these, then they're not important, don't do them. Though, um, uh, plenty of the required main path challenges are, are more than difficult enough for you, I guarantee it. Hmm. Quite a lot going on here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! So you'll notice that springboards also replenish your, um, uh, your jump, because, like, my hair turns red as soon as I touch it. Or Madeline's hair, not my hair. Excuse me. Perfect. Easy peasy. Oh no! Aha! That's where you were hiding. I hadn't come back and re- So basically I should note that I hadn't gone back and replayed basically any of the levels in this game uh, in my original save file because I was kind of trying to maintain uh, my exact record of how many deaths I had, how long it took to complete each level, but that's where you were hiding. So this is one of the B-side secrets. Oh no! Ah! You gotta, you gotta feel the rhythm inside your soul. There we go. That was, that was an easy one. So the B-sides are basically ultra-hard remixed versions of each level. With, uh, awesome new music and awesome new difficult mechanics. If you consider new, more difficult mechanics to be awesome. I sure do. Hmm, is that... No, 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 that's not a secret. That's You come at you come at that from a different angle. Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. never mind. I thought perhaps that was a... I had to break through that wall at the top, but I'm remembering that I'm pretty sure you just come at it from another angle. Ah! We'll get there eventually. Oh, hold on. Actually, I want to go this way first. That's right. I remember now. This is... The other way is up is progression. This is additional... Ah, no! I didn't- I actually did not mean to dash there, but you noticed that the, uh, the strawberry flew away as soon as I did that. See, other stages would have asked me to get all the way back across there with the strawberry before it would actually let me acquire it, but there they were okay with me getting it, because I needed to dash. Well, I guess that's not true, because once you have it, you can dash. My mistake. <coughs> ah, excuse me. I know I'm not being super entertaining. This is why I mostly do commentary with other people. Because it's hard for me to just talk when I'm by myself. Ah! 
So Theo, the guy we bumped into earlier, um, while he is just there, an optional character you could easily miss, um, later on he's going to be a, uh, a character we'll actually be interacting with quite a bit more. This game does have a bit of a story. It's not just uh, not just filler text to kind of get us from scene to scene. Uh, there is actually a bit of a narrative going on here, and uh, haha! I thought so, since I saw that uh, that gap over there giving it away. Always look for negative space that hasn't been filled out in the background, where it's like, huh, why is there just a gap in the wall over there? I bet there's something hidden in this location. Ha! Ah, okay, there we go. I didn't even need that final dash. I wasn't paying attention. I did have another dash, but I kind of, I kind of forgot that I had it. Wee! Oh, I should not. Uh, I should mention you do also have this duck, which is actually a, a move you will have to use at some points in time. It's not like the duck and shovel knight where it's there as a joke. It's a, uh, this is a real duck that you need to use in order to survive. Oh, and that's it. That's the first level. I forgot that that one was pretty. That one's really short and easy compared to compared to all of the other ones. Celeste Mountain. This memorial dedicated to those who perished on the climb. <sighs> I'm exhausted. This might have been a mistake. If I haven't already mentioned it, the music in this game is very, very good. I bought the soundtrack a little while ago. You should buy it as well. I got almost all the strawberries. And I unlocked the B-side. Can't do much better than that except finding the crystal heart. And I only died 22 times. Fantastic! That won't keep up. So you have down here a little journal that Madeline keeps of a record of basically how much time you've spent in each level, how many times you've died, all that sort of thing. And the fastest you've cleared each level, fewest number of times you've died on each level. All that kind of wonderful stuff. Let's just start off our next level here. No reason to stick around and wait. See, there you go. Strawberries will uh, will impress your friends, but that's about it. Only collect them if you really want to. Huh. Interesting. I don't remember that fire being green when I went to sleep. I don't remember that either. Okay. Let's move on, shall we? What is this mysterious matter? So many questions. I should mention this game is wonderfully atmospheric. Not just because of the music, but again, because of some really incredible art direction. Ah, okay. Let's do an upward diagonal there. I did a horizontal instead. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh no, I thought that was a, uh, a platform that I could stand on. It wasn't. My mistake. I don't know how I made that mistake. I've been playing this game a whole lot. I should have remembered that that was not a standable platform. It was clearly not in the foreground. It was in the background. Oh.
First things first, how do I get to that strawberry down below us? You all saw it, I saw it. How do we get to it? Oh no, I can't, I forgot. It's down there, it's that crack down in the bottom right-hand corner. I totally forgot about that. Oh well, my mistake. I thought it was in that room, but I forgot that it was a bit more obvious than that. Okay, that's nice. So this is an example of one of the um, uh, kind of staged gimmicks. So every single stage, except for the first one, has some kind of mechanic that kind of messes with the way that you can use Madeline's dash. Uh, you'll see a lot more of them in different stages if you pick up and play the game. They're all pretty fun. And they all work a little bit differently than the others. Oh well, let's just cheat that challenge, shall we? So for that one, you just have to get all three of those little yellow seeds without touching the ground. And touching the ground includes standing on top of one of these. I just kind of happen to get it on my first try. What's over here? More secrets. I love those. Oh no. Should have waited. You'll notice that going through these actually replenishes my dash each time. In addition to oh, and if you uh, if you hit a if you don't come out on the other side, if you hit a wall, uh, you're dead. You basically just suffocated inside that wall, like I just did again, because I'm stupid. Huzzah! Yeah, like I was saying, you'll notice that when I actually come out on the other side, my hair is red again. So um, uh, I can actually do multiple dashes, as I'm going to have to do here. There we go. This way. Anything over here? Nope, blocked off. Let's go back the other direction. There was one of these, those big, uh, one of those big warp puddle thingies over here. Yeah, let's use this. What's over this way? Oh no, that wasn't what I meant to do. Oh well, my mistake, everyone. Oh no, I shouldn't have wasted that dash. You will sometimes get in situations like that where there's literally nothing you can do and you'll just have to restart. But again, the restarts are so quick that it really doesn't even matter. The controls in this game are pretty silky smooth. Um, unfortunately, some I wish I wish sometimes that I could use the D-pad instead of uh, instead of a stick. But I am playing this on Switch, and the Joy Cons uh, got rid of the D-pad in favor of these arrow button thingies. Uh, which unfortunately means that you can't use the D-pad to do your perfect. Uh, uh, dashes sometimes, because sometimes I'll want to do like a, um, uh, sometimes I'll want to do a, uh, a diagonal dash, and I'll wind up doing a vertical or horizontal dash instead, which, uh, can, can very frequently be the difference between life and death. Um, so one thing that to note is that even once your stamina starts running out, if you're doing wall jumps between two close walls, you can do that even as you're running out of stamina. So you'll notice that if I just go straight through this, diagonally, um, I'm just going to wind up hitting the wall over there. Um, wait, no. I just... Well, I have to go diagonally. To avoid suffocating myself inside of a wall. What's that? The music is cut out. Madeline, darling, slow down. Who said that? Oh, I'm simply a concerned observer. Are you... me? I'm part of you. Why would part of me look so creepy? <laughs> I love the little expressions in this game. This is just what I look like, okay? Deal with it. Sorry, I didn't mean... Forget about it. I don't- I can't tell you what a relief it is to finally get out of your head. But look, I'm worried about us. We need a hobby, but this... I know it sounds crazy, but I need to climb this mountain. You are many things, darling, but you are not a mountain climber. Who says I can't be? I know it's not your strong suit, but be reasonable for once. You have no idea what you're getting into. You can't handle this. That is exactly why I need to do this. Are you the weak part of me, or the lazy part? I'm the pragmatic part. And I'm trying to be diplomatic here. Let's go home. Together. Uh... No! Ah! 
Oh no, I killed myself already. I may be running for my life, but there's always time for a good strawberry. Oh no, I ran into her on the way back. Don't have to get the strawberry again, though. They're pretty kind about that. They don't make you do those ridiculous challenges more than once, because oftentimes getting the strawberries is, um, uh, is extremely difficult. I thought perhaps that would be a secret. It looked like a little secret enclave. It wasn't. I was mistaken. Oh, I'm not gonna search every single wall for that strawberry right now. That's a, that's a future Jacob problem. So you'll notice that she's following along with basically every single step that I make. So if you want to make through this level, you actually have to uh, kind of psych her out in a couple of spots. Make sure that wherever she goes, you're leaving a path for yourself later in the future. Ah! Oh, no, there are a couple more of them now. I want to find out if there's something behind this wall. Oh no. Oh no. That looks like there should be something there. Nope, never mind. Ah! I will, I will acquire that strawberry. You can't stop me. There we go. Should have been wall jumping, had him stay on all, have them all stay on one wall, and then I don't have to worry about coming back down. Ah, okay. That was close, but I'm fine. Everything's fine now. How are you? Ah, I was going to try and drop down after they were all finished, but that didn't quite work. There are too many of them now. I can't really, I can't really lame it out like that anymore. The trail is too big. Ah, I almost made it. I want that strawberry. I don't know why I care so much. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna finish this file. I'm probably gonna delete it after this video's over, but oh well, I want it anyway. And you can't tell me what to do, except that I'm gonna leave it behind now. Oh well. Ah, no, I forgot. I was doing so well in this room too, other than the strawberry. I'm not gonna be able to pull that off right now. I'll do it some other time. I mean, again, I've already done it before. What am I saying do it another time? I'm deleting this file, so it doesn't matter. Should have kicked off that wall. I was getting greedy, I'm trying to go too fast. You'll notice that the ground gave out underneath me there before I actually had the ability to be able to jump that, so you, ha you have to dash in midair on that one, which is pretty neat. Ah! Yeah, sure, get lost. I want nothing to do with you. Oh no. <laughs> Anything up here? Nope, nothing hiding up there. Sometimes there is. Uh oh, there's something hiding up here for sure though. Anything down here or is that a uh, death pit? Nope, that is secrets. I wasn't sure if that'd be death pit or secrets. Ah! Too far. Too much power. Too much power again. Perfect. Perfect. 
Nailed it. That was simple enough. Oh no. An incoming call to a payphone is never a good sign. Hello? Madeline? Are you calling from a payphone? Yeah. No, wait. You called me. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. I'm in trouble. I'm being chased by... someone. I don't really understand what's going on, but I know I'm in danger. I can feel it. Madeline, you only call me when you're panicking in the middle of the night. You don't have to make up some ridiculous story just to get my attention. I'm not making it up. You always do this. Shh. It's alright, calm down. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Talk to me. I'm climbing Celeste Mountain. I, I found this old mirror and it shattered, but part of me escaped and... I'm dreaming, aren't I? Madeline, of course you're dreaming. I haven't spoken to you in months. Why would I start now? Ah, why am I even climbing this stupid mountain? I'm wondering the same thing. It's time to give up and go home. You can't read in dreams. Ooh, spooky! Anything up here? Nope, this is all just kind of empty level now. It's where level used to be. Oh, but hey, look, it's our old friend from 10 minutes ago. Hey, Madeline, you made it. Climbing up here was tough, but totally worth it. Just look at these ruins. I took so many great pics. Want to see? Oh, sure. Theo, these are great. Maybe I'll finally hit a thousand followers with these. Oh, we need to formally commemorate this occasion. Take a selfie with me. Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea right now. Come on, it's easy. Like this. Sorry about that. Don't worry, I won't post that one. No, it's all right. You can post it. I'm just not... photogenic. Madeline, don't be so hard on yourself. No one looks good without a filter. Casual, yet refined. What made you want to try photography? My grandpa was really into it. Apparently, he was a semi-famous photo- He was semi-famous in the photography world. I don't know if I'll ever be as good at it. But it's nice to feel close to him. So you're determined to climb the entire mountain? Yeah, I told myself I would. I'm done breaking promises to myself. Life goals! I dig it. I doubt I'll make it to the top like you, but I'm not ready to turn back just yet. Are you getting any data up here? I don't have a smartphone. Madeline, I don't even know how to respond to that. He doesn't know how to respond to that, so I guess it's time for us to move on. Back to being by ourselves with the lonely music. Uh-oh, all of the mysterious spooky bubbles from before are all gone. But there's still fun trampolines if you just want to have a good time. What's up there now? Anything? Yes, another challenge, just in case you wanted to do more platforming. You know what I want to do? More platforming. Huzzah! Breaks the mood a little bit, but that's fine. Who cares about tone in video games? Anything up here? Nada. I can't 
think there's still power to this thing. If that whole entire city was shut down, how does this thing still have any juice? The phone lines are still connected? This is ridiculous. I call bullcrap. This is completely unbelievable. This is totally ruining my immersion. None of the other stuff that just happened in this level did, but this is this is just ridiculous. This is pushing it too far. Hello? Hey, Mom. Madeline, what a nice surprise. How's your trip? It's okay. I'm just kind of... overwhelmed. Oh no, are you having another panic attack? Focus on your breathing, honey. I'm here. What's going on? Didn't do so well on the strawberries that time around. Did I die less? I died fewer times on that one. Yes! We're doing pretty good so far. And our time wasn't so bad either. But I'm afraid that's all we'll be doing with Celeste today. I highly recommend that you check it out. If you like incredibly tight, difficult, challenging technical platforming, that's one reason to check it out. But as you've already observed, there's some nice little characters in this too. The story doesn't get, it's not, it's not like a super insane, ridiculous story full of plot twists and whatnot, but uh, it is very sweet and very sincere. Um, and Madeline is a great little main character that um, uh, I think you'll, I think you'll enjoy going on this journey uh, quite a bit if you, uh, if you do choose to take the plunge. I am, uh, there's a lot of stuff that already you're picking up on. Uh, there's a little bit going on uh, internally with her that isn't just some ridiculous, uh, fantasy nonsense with that little her calling her mom and talking about her having panic attacks uh there's a lot of stuff about um anxiety and depression going on in this game it's really interesting uh as someone who has uh, has had some friends that have really struggled with that and uh just recently had some anxiety issues myself there's a lot of stuff in this that um that i can uh kind of directly relate to if not firsthand at the very least uh secondhand from friends who have dealt with kind of similar things to what Madeline uh, is going through and, and has to kind of deal with in this game. Um, it's quite good. It's not going to win an Oscar or anything for its writing, but uh, it is definitely worth experiencing just for the story, even as someone who's only beaten the main storyline so far and not really done any of the extra bonus stuff or plunged back in to really explore the levels because there's quite a few secrets to find in these levels. Um, uh, I have I feel fully satisfied with my $20 purchase just from beating the main story. So even if you don't think of your, some, yourself as someone who will want to spend uh, dozens of hours and hundreds of deaths in all of the bonus super hard remix levels, if you're not that kind of person, uh, you just think you'd want to, you know, do what it takes to beat the main story and step away from it, uh, totally worth the $20 price of admission. This is on PC and Mac and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's on the Nintendo Switch. It's on PS4. It's on Xbox One. So um, if you're playing video games in the modern day, you should be able to pick this up. It's worth the money. It's worth the time. Highly recommend Celeste. Be sure to uh, be sure to pick it up. Give it a shot. Very fun. You'll enjoy it.